Hey, what is going on, Aquarius? Butch Terrell here. I am going to do your August read for the month of August. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using uh, the Celtic Tarot. With all that being said, let's get it. Universe. What message do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius, universe? For August Aquarius. So the first thing I see, Aquarius, I feel like... I feel like someone... You have someone's attention. You know, I feel like there's been someone... Now... There's been someone keeping their eye on you. And I feel like with this person... I mean, there's a lot of internal struggle within this person. I mean, part of this person, is, is a little bit terrified. I mean, I, they're afraid they're gonna get hurt. You know, I, I feel like this person has a lot of interest in you. But I feel like In their own head, I mean, they feel like they're a little bit too interested. I mean, you're everything they've been they've been waiting for. Now, with this person, I feel like they've they've had they, you know they're they're having time to get to know you. So I feel like this may be someone that you work with, someone in your circle, a friend of a friend. I mean, this is someone that that has access to you. You know, they get to see you. But I feel like they've been keeping this a secret. You know, like I said, I mean, there's this internal struggle within them because a part of them is afraid of getting hurt by you. The other part is like they're getting hurt by themselves by not approaching you. You know, like I said, I mean, I, I feel like this could be a friend or someone you work with. I, I, I feel like if it is a friend, it's it's a new friend because I, I, I feel like this is a lot of, this has all come on very quickly. So I, I don't feel like this is someone that's been hiding something from you for a long time. But with this person... I mean, they're thinking about you and only the, you know, you and only you. You know, there's they see so much potential in this connection. Um, what I'm feeling is, along with that internal struggle of getting hurt or being hurt, I'm really getting this feeling of like a head over heart decision. I mean, I feel like their head is is fighting with their heart. I mean, their heart wants what it wants. But the head, they're trying to make this logical. I mean, they're, I, I feel like this person is very intelligent. And I feel like they... They want what they want. You know, they're very intelligent. So I feel like they're trying to make this make sense. They're trying to make it logical. 
but there's also this very impulsiveness in this person as well. Um, you know, they're, they're not, they're, they're trying not to react on impulse. They're holding themselves back and I feel like it's very hard for them to hold themselves back. I mean, they don't want to have any regrets and I feel like I'm going to be honest with you, Aquarius. It, they're afraid that they're going to get themselves in trouble. They're afraid they're already in too deep. I don't know what, I don't know what the hell you did to this person, Aquarius, but I mean, you got them hooked. You know, this person just wants to move forward with you. This person wants to, I mean, they want, they want to go out. They want to take you out. They want to move forward. You know, they see potential, a lot of potential in this connection. I mean, I feel like in the in the beginning, it, it, physically, they were just attracted to you. But it became so much more so very quickly. Uh, a lot of quick moving energy here. I mean, they, this person knows what they want. Um, with the two, two of wands. Like I said, seeing a lot of potential in this connection. And, so, and sometimes that can be terrifying as hell for some people. You know, when they feel this connection to someone that they haven't told yet, there's this, there's this area, this very gray area of like, okay, what is the next step? What do I do next? I mean, I want this person so bad, but if they don't want me, <laughs> like I said, I mean, you, you've done something to this person. I mean, this is a wicked game. I mean, this person's late night's anxiety. I mean, they think about you all the time. They can't stop thinking about you. But I mean, I, I, I feel like with this Knight of Wands, I feel like maybe this person even has flirted with you or will flirt with you a little bit. But it's because they just can't help themselves. They can't help themselves when they're around you. But I don't feel like they told you the, the, the true nature of what they actually want from you. I mean, this person wants to grab you and hold on. This person wants to take you out. This person wants to do things with you. Um, you know, you, in, you're, you, you inspire things in this person they didn't even know they had to inspire. I mean, they want to do some things with you. And I don't just mean the thing. I mean, plenty of things. <laughs> I mean, you make this person happy and it, this ain't even a thing yet. You know, I, I, I... You got this person all twisted up. I mean, this person wants to open up communication with you, tell you everything. You just blurt it all out. You know, they, they, but I mean, I feel like they're second guessing it too, as well. I mean, I feel like this person is confident. Like we have the, the Knight of Wands. I mean, very, that's a very confident energy, very confident in themselves, very emotionally stable. But you, I mean, you, you, you're like this hurricane that just ran through a trailer park. You know what I mean? <laughs> They thought they had it all figured out until you came along. I mean, this person, like I said, I, I feel like they have a hard time telling you how they feel because they're not even sure exactly how they, how they feel, and they're not exactly they're not exactly sure what to expect from this. But they feel this connection with you that isn't going away. You know, with that two of cups. I feel like this is a, a very strong bond that you have with this person. You know, this person wants to give to this. They want to nurture it. I mean, everything inside them is telling them. Um, but this is where the head over heart decision comes in play. You know, everything inside them is telling them. Their intuition is telling them to go for this. But it's like their head, like, be smart about it. Now, like I said, I mean, I feel like they're, you know, this person, 
there's going to be some flirting. I mean, uh, this person can't control themselves when they're around you, but to a point. But what's clear here is this person wants... They want something real. They just don't know how to get it. They don't know how to take that next step. I mean, you intimidate the shit out of this person, and I don't feel like this is a person that usually gets intimidated, but... I mean, all eyes on you. I mean, this person... They just want to do things with you. They just want to be with you. Experience things with you. Share things with you. And I feel like, like I said, I mean, there's this... You know, there's this flirtatious energy, but I feel like they try to play it cool, though. And that's the thing that can be confusing for you, is I feel like this person's kind of playing it cool, like playing it like they, they're not that interested. <laughs> I mean, they're playing it real cool. But I feel like that, that slips a little bit. That's where that flirtatious energy comes from, because, I mean, this person wants something... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. this is like that, and don't take any offense to this at all, because I don't mean it that way. Anybody that's watched me knows I'm not trying to offend anybody. But what popped in my head when I was reading this is like, it's like in the movies when you see the, the drug dealer, and they give you that first sample, because they know you're going to like it. And they know you're going to come back and buy more. You know, and they've had a sample. And they want more. You know, they're thinking about it. They're craving it. They're craving you. But like I said, I, I, I do feel like this person is finally going to step up. Because I feel like there's no other option. Like I said, you, they're inspired. And I feel like there's been a long time since anybody inspired this person. But I mean... I mean, I feel like this person's going after the win. They don't want to lose you. And they don't want to let you go easy. You know, they don't want to let you go without telling you how they feel. Even though I feel like they've been trying to hold it back from you. Like I said, it, it, it's, it's a head over heart decision. They're making decisions for what they think is best. So they're making decisions with their head. But I feel like the heart wins over every time. And I feel like that's exactly what happens. And that's why I feel like this person's going to open up to you. I feel like, the, like this fearless energy and this person finally just taking that leap and just letting you know, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking about. And this is what I want to do. I mean, they can't hold back anymore. They've been trying real hard. I mean, you may... With this person, I mean, I mean, I'm f feeling like you may even think you know what this person wants from you, but I don't feel like you have any idea. At least not to this extent. You know, I think this person may even give off the wrong impression the way that impulsive nature, uh, that flirtatious energy. You may think they want something from you, but they want more than that. They want what they can get, to be honest with you, but... <laughs> I mean, they just, at the end of the day, they don't want to have regrets either. I mean, you're under this person's skin. You're, you're living rent free in their head. And they're about to charge you rent. <laughs> uh, with this person, we have, we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have Gemini and Aquarius. We have some cancer. Scorpio. And we got Capricorn, possibly some Taurus. I mean, you're driving this person crazy. I don't know, like I said, what, what, what have you done to this person, Aquarius? 
What have you done? <laughs> And they're trying to play cool. That's the best part. They're trying to play cool. <laughs> my analogies and things that come out of my head, I mean, they, they just come out of my head. I, I, I try to be as transparent as possible with my thoughts. I feel like it, if I don't, I'm not being... Uh, I'm, I'm not fully engaged in the read. But some of it's, it comes out silly, but sometimes I've said things out loud that seem silly to me because they were in my head. And I've had people message me back saying that this, that made so much sense. So, I mean, I, I, I try to be free. I've always been that way. My head goes to my mouth, uh, my brain goes to my mouth and it comes out. There's no filter in between. You know, it, and the thought that I was thinking about, the, I, I'm actually buff or, you know, fluffing this because I have a story that I've been thinking in my head. Not a story, but just like this image. Um, I used to have this dog. His name was Caesar. He was a pit bull. And I love that dog. He was like my best friend. Um, but one thing that I, I remember, and, and it just came to me, it, I remember this, he used to be, when you were playing with him, he was really playful and he wanted to play all the time. But when you stopped playing with him, he would drop his toy right in front of you. And I remember this one time he had one of those bones, you know, you get at the butcher shop, you know, the hollowed out bones. And um, it was sitting there. And I remember my nephew was over. <coughs> and he had, he, he was, he was, I don't know what he was doing, but he had his foot on it. And my dog was very gentle. Like, he wouldn't come over and, you know, he couldn't come over and grab it because my nephew had his foot on it. He was sitting on the couch and he had his foot on the bone. And he was just kind of rocking the bone back and forth with his foot. And I could see Caesar over there and he was laying there with his head down, but his eyes were glued to that bone. But he was looking straight ahead. Like, he, his nose was pointing straight ahead, but his eyes were looking right at the bone. And then he kept kind of glancing over me, glancing over the bone, glancing over me, glancing over the bone. He, and I could tell that he wanted that bone, but he didn't want to come over and get it because I was very, you know, I, I, I trained him not to be, like I, I never really allowed any aggression in him because I know at, 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 when they're young, you've got to teach them young, you know, not to be aggressive. So with the kids, I'd always kind of just kind of growl at him when he got near the kids and try to take toys from them because when he was little, he used to be kind of rough. You know, he'd go over and just take the toy right out of their hands. And so I, he was sitting there and, and what, what brought him into the story was the fact that he was sitting there and he's like, it's like this person, they're looking at you, they want you, but they're acting like they're not interested. He's, he's over there acting like he doesn't, it's not bothering him. He's not thinking about it. But I can see his eyeballs and I can see him looking right at that, right at that bone. And as soon as my nephew would get up to go to the bathroom or go get something to eat, I can't remember why he got up. But as soon as he got up, he went over, grabbed that bone, took it back over there and laid there with it. Kind of like, yeah, hey, I can't take it from you. Now you can't take it from me. <laughs> I don't know why I even thought of that story. But that's just, it's what comes to my head. It's the randomness of it all. And if you were to know me, anybody that's watched me knows I'm random. Uh, my friends, family, uh, everybody tells me I'm the most random person ever. I come up with some random shit, trust me. I don't know where it comes from, but I try to share it in the read. That's why I do like a story at the end. I try not to do too much in the, in the read because I don't want to... I don't want to put myself too much into your read, but at the end, I, I always enjoy sharing a few things I'm thinking. Um, because I feel like it's just adding me into the me into the into the video. I mean, just kind of I like putting myself out there, and I like sharing my thoughts and just sharing the random shit I think about. <laughs>
Anyway, with all that being said, be good. Take care. Stay safe.